بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو قرآن ٹیوٹنگ ڈاٹ کام انشاءاللہ ان اور ٹوڈیز لاس ویر گوئنگ ٹو لرن سم رولز اباؤٹ دا سکون وٹ از دا نیم وٹ از دا فنکشن آف سکون وٹ از دا پرپز آف سکون اینڈ وٹ از دا شیپ آف سکون انشاءاللہ آل دیس تھنگس وی ول لرن ان دا ان ٹوڈیز کلاس Okay, let's uh, read a letter having harakat. The movement is called mutaharak or move letter. If a letter is without harakat sign, is called a sakin or wrestling letter. And sign, uh, this is uh, if this sign come over the letter, is called sakun. So let's discuss. As we discuss uh, a letter having harakat, harakat means fatha, kasra, or zamma, uh, any movement. If letter has any of movement on it, let's suppose in this word. Uh, the, this alif has a uh, um, fatha on it so th then alif will be mutaharik uh, or moved letter mutaharik or moved this alif is mutaharik or moved if letter is without her sign it calls sakin or letter so if letter uh, let's suppose uh, this noon has uh, this shape so this uh, noon mm, is uh, uh, one of the sakin letter this noon is a sak uh, one of the sakin letter sakin letter mean if letter has sakun on it is called sakin on it uh, this is the basically this is the shape of sakun if this uh, shape come on any letter uh, is called sakin letter basically name of this shape is sakun so in this word alif is a uh, alif is mutaharak and noon is a sakin similarly in this word alif has a uh, uh, is mutaharak and uh, zal is sakin same same rule uh, with this am um, uh, this alif alif has pathan um, uh, it uh, and uh, this is uh, this is mutaharak and uh, this mim is one of the sakin letter what this basically okay well this was the introduction about the uh, about the about the sakun or sakin letters uh, well, what will do if letter has sakun on it whenever uh, we have sakun on it if whenever we have uh, this shape of uh, this shape on any letter then uh, we must need to connect uh, that letter with the previous one let's suppose uh, on this in this word noon has a uh, sakun on it so what we'll do we'll connect this noon with the previous letter which is uh, hamza so we'll pronounce hamza noon fatha um, same will be with this zal hamza zal kisra ev hamza mim fatha um this is the function of uh, function of sakun whenever we have sakun on any letter then we must need to connect that letter with the pronounce and we'll pronounce the sakun only one uh, we'll pronounce that letter only one time mean uh, th this noon has sakun so we are not, uh, we'll, we don't we are not allowed to read uh, once again this noon because it has sakun on it well uh, this was uh, the rule of sakun inshallah uh, we will continue in our next class till then assalamu alaikum with new rules uh, inshallah we will continue in our next class uh, with the new with some more rules till then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh